Atlantic City, mecca for conventioneers from all over the country. Let's go behind the scenes at one of the resort's leading hotels, the Chalfont Haddon Hall, to meet some of the people who, together with the boardwalk and the Atlantic Ocean, help cause conventioneers and vacationers to keep coming back to Atlantic City year after year. The know-how of experts in many fields of hotel management and operation are called upon to provide sleeping accommodations, meeting facilities, conference setups, entertainment arrangements, theater stages, orchestras, banquets, and the other requirements, all interchangeable, if necessary, on a split-second schedule. After their daily briefing, department heads are ready to take on not just one, but three or four conventions at a time. After an early breakfast, officials of a chemical firm have gathered in one of the hotel's meeting rooms for a conference at which they discuss their company's plans and prospects for the months ahead. Just down the hall, executives and sales representatives of a paper company involved in similar discussion take a coffee break. After that, they move on to another meeting in another larger room. To the people participating, it appears that the room has been set up like this for days. They don't realize that a square table conference was in progress here a couple of hours ago, and a banquet dinner will be served here just a few hours hence. But convention goers aren't supposed to be concerned with hotel business. While the entertainment, amateur or professional, proceeds out front, backstage, it's all business. The business of feeding several thousand persons en masse, which surprisingly happens to be a lot more complicated than serving individual orders to an equal number of restaurant patrons. The difference lies in the fact that all appetizers, all entrees, all desserts must be served simultaneously to everyone. While this group dines, preparations are underway for a meeting of automobile dealers in another part of the hotel. New models are brought in by special elevator directly through a second story entrance, and before long, in stream the auto men for their conclave. The changes from one group to another, one setup to another, have been executed like clockwork, all quietly, efficiently, out of sight. Business conventions have been portrayed as occasions designed strictly for fun, but it just isn't so. They have their elements of fun, all right, but for the most part, they are intended to bring people together from scattered parts of the country for business reasons. And as Atlantic City knows, they must be run in a business-like manner. Thank you. 